They were, they were just shot at. Um, and, Lord, do you have any more information about rubber what bullet, was I a rubber bullet? Okay. The crew is okay. We're told okay. that they identified themselves as media and they were shot at with a rubber bullet. And as you can see, it yeah. broke the This windshield. is the environment that's out there right now. You know, we, we watched from the air as uh, these, this law enforcement effort is moving in on foot with the heavy vehicles behind them, the Humvees from the National Guard. And they want these crowds moving, so we're seeing those flashbangs and uh, the rubber bullets. And there you can see the dozens of officers now that are creating that perimeter and, and moving forward. But in the midst of that, uh, you know, media is allowed to be in this area, uh, but they were fired at with a rubber bullet. So, Christina okay. Palduna live on the scene for us. Christina, tell us what you saw, what you experienced. Yeah, so whew, we're all right, first of all. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the uh, front windshield shot out here. So we were trying to get around the 5th Precinct to get to a safer area to get out and kind of show you guys a different angle. I'm with my security detail. Uh, when we were pulling up, we clearly identified, you can see the Fox 9 placard there that we were with the media and Minneapolis police just started shooting out these rubber bullets here. You can see them, the direct impact. Uh, they went through the windshield, obviously, shot us twice, shot at us twice, I should say. Uh, we were all fine, we all got down as low as we could quickly, and immediately you turned and pulled out of there. So it just goes to show they're being very overly aggressive about anybody, any car coming towards them. They are not playing around you have to leave. So even identifying ourselves as media, they did not care. And they prior to that, Christine, I assume you saw the same thing being conducted toward anybody else that was on the streets as well. Yes. And again, we kind of wanted to get, you know, into an area where we could get a better shot. Um, there was tons of police there. We figured they saw the placard and would let us kind of pull over and safely get out. But um, obviously that was not the case. So we're going to have to be a little bit more cautious about, you know, where we can kind of get a vantage point. Um, even as, you know, credentialed media, local media here, um, we still weren't given any sort of a pass to come in and, and get a good shot. So, Christina, what's the reaction been with the crowd? You know, we, we saw you initially when you were on the street and um, the people running and then also yelling back. Um, what have you seen as far as changes in the crowd and what the reaction is if there if are people who are just not going to leave? So when we were kind of coming around this way, um, there were a lot of people leaving. Obviously, they were doing the flashbangs and the smoke. Uh, but there was a substantial crowd that was still there putting up a fight. So obviously now we're on the other side of that. So I can't really give you a feel as to what that's like because it was just unsafe for us to be there. Um, but when we drove around to get it to a better vantage point, definitely seeing still a large crowd there um, not backing down. We are still seeing movement of law enforcement there in that parking lot, setting up a perimeter. You can see them getting to place. They'll get very tight. Uh, they're not going to allow people through. They're not going to allow people to come back that way. Uh, there is a strategy here. We've seen it uh, unfold in the last 20 minutes.